All right, people. All right. Well, there's Ginger like usual. Her does not love, or her does not like to be way ahead of her dad. Okay. What we're doing tonight is we're going to make code packs. Let me go ahead and... Uh, that's probably about right. Okay. So, we're going to make an attempt here to make code packs. Now, what do we need? We need one-third alcohol and two-thirds um, water. So, let's so go ahead and uh, do this real quick. There's two cups. I know, I know. Boring, 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 boring. Okay, there's two cups of water. Okay. Ginger, you're not going outside. Ginger. No, you're not going outside. Daddy's filming. Make a mockery of my video. <laughs> well, everybody else should. So anyway, there is um, um, two cups, okay, and I know you can't see this on here, but I'm going to go ahead and put another cup, oh crap, <sighs> see, that's what happens, that's what happens people, <sighs> that's what happens. See, I hope you're happy. But anyway, one cup to, uh, yeah, there's two cups, three cups. All right, anyway. Wow, oh, this is just not really working right. Ginger? Good thing about alcohol, though, it evaporates, right? I guess. That was the dumbest thing I could have ever done. Oh, my God. Was, I hope all that was on the video. Oh, I spilled alcohol everywhere. Oh, my goodness. It smells like a freaking hospital in here now. That might be a good thing. You know, maybe it's the cleanest I've ever been. I have no clue. <sighs> but anyway, um, this is only 70%, so I have no idea if we need 80%, 90%. The funny thing about this stuff is um, it gets way more expensive. 60% is cheap compared to 70 and 70% cheap compared to 80. So, I don't know. I have no freaking clue. But anywho, so what I'm going to attempt to do is pour it into one of these little gallon deal. Hmm. Watch this go horribly wrong. Uh, it's the first thing that's ever gone right. Really? Really? Let's see. Yep, you can see it on the video. So, we're making ice packs anyway, people. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do... Let me close it down here. And again, another experiment. Probably going to go wrong. There we go. Yeah, we doing that? Okay, trying to get most of the air out. I have no idea. Try it again, get a little bit more air out, but you don't want to... There we go. Now, I would assume these might leak. So anyway. Alright. Everything is still being captured. Yeah. Okay, so anywho, 
We're going to do it this way. And I would absolutely double back this one. So what our experiment is going to entail is, first of all, does it freeze? Okay. Now you see it. Now does it freeze? And then, how long does it stay frozen? And how are we going to deal with that, people? Well, okay. Well, let's just see if it freezes, all right? So anyway, I'm cutting the video off. Get this away from the cats, obviously. Don't want them anywhere near this. All right, I'm gonna stay tuned while that's doing. Um, but anyway, let's put in the freezer and see what happens. And um, I'll be back with you tomorrow because I have no idea if this will freeze or how much. And then we'll do an experiment over the next two or three days in a styrofoam container to see if it actually stays frozen and for how long. All right, well, laters. <clears throat> All right, well, it's an update on my little frozen pack I did. Um, not bad. Now, keep in mind, it's double bagged. Okay, hear that? It's crunchy. It's been in the freezer for, oh, I don't know, 24 hours. Might be a better picture of it. So it didn't completely freeze. And now what I'm going to do is do an experiment where I do a styrofoam thing. I put it in there for three days and let's see if it stays frozen. I doubt it, but it's a hell of a cold pack. All right, well, there you go. Later. Okay, well, for the cold pack, this is not realistic whatsoever, okay? But anyway, um, I'm in the basement here, the fish room. It stays about 72 degrees down here. So what I'm going to do is simply put the top on and <clears throat> close it up. And we'll measure the temperature um, every day for three days. Now keep in mind, when your fish are being transported, they're not always going to be in an 80 degree warehouse. They're not always going to be on a truck that's not air conditioned and blah, blah, blah. So this might not work at all. But we'll see if it stays frozen. I have no idea. But I'm going to do it for three days. And um, I'll film a little bit later on, but uh, we'll do three days and see what happens. I don't know. Later, people. All right. Well, this is the last experiment with the uh, ice pack. It's been um, uh, a little bit less than 24 hours. So I'm just going to fire this here. Okay. The room is about 70. You fire at the wall. Yeah, 70. Let me fire down here. So it's around 70, okay? Ideal conditions for an ice pack. All right. Well, first of all, let's see. It's entirely, yeah, it's entirely melted. Let's fire a laser on here. About 60 degrees. 59 plus like I say that was my worry the condensation so I laid it in there so it, it could not leak out it's double bagged but there's the condensation on there so I don't know of any ice bag in the world and you all can let me know what y'all think I mean this thing was almost solid frozen yesterday so it's still cool um I might leave it in there longer, but again, if this is 60, when it was frozen yesterday, I did measure it this morning, and it was about 50. Um, short term, I guess it would help out. Um, now, obviously, you can't ship fish in there, you know, uh, with with something like this. You know, it could help out on the medium flat rates and so on, but. Yeah, 62, just depending on where I fire this thing at. 
Okay, well, that's the end of that experiment. The cool thing is, if y'all want to take a few Cokes and beers to the park, <laughs> you know, this might be a cheap way to do it. Um, it might be a way for shipping, but another problem with this is, unless you're going flat rate, oh my goodness, this probably weighs, I'd have to weigh it at least two or three pounds, so if you're paying by the pound, that's really going to run up your cost. So, I don't know. Um, if y'all know any more cool packs that would last better, I know King Lee told me he gets his on eBay. Um, I saw an unboxing from uh, da, 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 Jadron Aquatics, or Jadron Aquatics, um, and, uh, you know, they, uh, he shipped a code pack, and he said it was still cool. Yeah, about 60 there, firing it off. So, I don't know. I guess this would probably get to room temperature by tomorrow. So, experiment over, done. Um, so, drop a message. Let me know what y'all think. Hit the like, subscribe. Tell me I'm cool. Um, I don't know. My address is listed down below. Send me a cool... I don't know, send me something. <laughs> Alright, I love y'all. Take care. Laters.